Look into the word of character development. The word of God is like wisdom, courage, and in terms of character, it's a virtue. Character is a virtue, not a gift. You know, um, we have different gifts, but character is, a, is not a gift, but it's a virtue. The desire to change is the key growth in all areas of our lives. So when we are in a certain place and, and we desire better, we, we know there should be more than this. That's a place that we grow into integrity, holiness, meekness, righteousness. So for us to be successful, we need to make right decision early and manage them early for a good uh, result. You know, uh, we know that good Christian character has its basis on moral excellence. We are expected to live above reproach, action, words, and deeds. You know, we're not supposed to be uh, people of secrecy so that the devil will have nothing against us. So if they, you know, check us on this area, we will be okay. We will we will be above reproach. That's what God wants us to do. Um, but, you know, quality of a good Christian, um, we know that honesty is one of the quality of a Christian. In Acts, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, 1 and 2. Acts of the Apostles, 16, 1 and 2. Says, he says, day, yeah, yeah, read it. One. Yeah, go on. Until the day he was taken up to heaven. No, no, no. Jesus left. No, it's uh, 16. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 16 verses 1 and 2. Yeah, I'll wait for you. You know, um, your yes should be yes and your no should be no. So, honesty is very important. Yeah, you can read. Acts 16. Mm, 1 and 2. Paul come to Deborah. That one. Yeah. Then he went on list Lystra. Mm. A, a believer mm. named Timothy mm -hmm. lived there. His mm. mother was Jewish, mm. and a, a believer, his father was a Greek. Mm -hmm. He believed at Le Lystra and Icon. Said God, good, good mm. thing about Timothy. Amen. Yes. God went to take no, him that's along. It. That's it. Yeah. You know because of his integrity because of the good report uh, Paul went to uh, get him so that they can work together and that's how he became um, you know um, say, uh, sorry get father to Timothy so when we talk about honesty when when you are honest person people want to be identified with you so another character or quality is integrity. Quality of being right in character. Saying what you mean. You know, not these days we hear the word say it like you mean it. That's irrelevant. You should say it. Mean it. Don't say it if you're not. And another one is a servant attitude. Attending to the needs of others. And we can see that in Luke chapter 22, verse 27. Luke 22, verse 7, 27. For, where, for where that is greater, he that seated at meat or he that serveth. It's not he that seated at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. So servanthood is the character of, you know, of Christendom. We are supposed to be uh, people who serve, not people who want to be served. Um, so another one is love. We need the inner love. It will compel us to do what God has ordained us to do. Love is something, um, it's a virtue that we should all cultivate. Because if we love one another in that, people will know that we are followers of Christ. So in First Corinthians chapter 
13, we all know about what love is. And, and love speaks. It, it's, it's action. It's not words. You know, we keep saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. But that's not, if not, we won't be, uh, uh, you know, hating next minute and love the other way. It's going, it's supposed to be agape love. Love of no attachment. Not when you are behaving well, but whenever we, whether we are right or wrong in, in, in our standing, we still love regardless. That's the type of love uh, God has shown us. For it says there's no such love as this, that a man, you know, gave himself up for his friends. So that's the love, the love to be able to die for one another. So Ephesians chapter 5, 1 and 2. If you find it, Ephesians 5. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as their children, and walk in love, as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. For a sweet smelling server, there's, you know, this aroma of love. When we have the character of love, it's, it, it, it draws people, it, it's attractive. Love is attractive in the mighty name of Jesus. May we, you know, love as, the, as followers of Christ. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. So another, uh, you know, character as Christians we should have is humility, meekness, ability to make good judgment. You know, we know that Moses was a man that, you know, we know about his meekness when God was angry with the way the people of Israel was uh, behaving, that he wanted to just start all over again. And uh, Moses said to God, they will say you just brought them out from Egypt only to kill them because you couldn't cope with them or you couldn't fulfill your promise. So he was able to stand in the gap. The, um, his meek, meekness does not mean weakness. Actually, it's strength for you to be able to stand in place of someone else. So... Uh, you can see something about that in Psalm 25, verse 9. So Psalm 25, verse 9. Whoever sees it, you can read. It says, The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. When you are humble, the Bible says he will lift up whoever is humble, and whoever is proud, he will, you know, uh, uh, pull them down sort of if you want God to exalt you you must be humble otherwise you will be humiliated when you put yourself in a pedestal sorry I didn't get the scripture uh, in Psalm 25 verse 9 uh, the next one is you, you know we need to be diligent uh, hard working people you know it doesn't kill us to be hard working so when you, for us to be able to know what does God wants of us or what's the will of God for us, we need to be diligent in pulling all the word of God, words of God, and looking into it and weighing them. Um, you know, if we have any need of any sort, the answer is in the word, it's in the manual. So uh, we need to be diligent, working hard. Because we cannot be able to earn or know anything if we don't study to show ourselves approved as in Timothy. So we need to be disciplined also. The price you pay for your desires is denying yourself certain things in order to reach your goal. That is restrictive control. That's what you do when you discipline yourself. It's not that you can't go about slapping people who insult you, but you hold yourself back, and and that you know that's discipline. We need to be disciplined um, because God says He disciplines those He loves. So discipline is an attribute and character of a Christian. You can have that. You see that in First Corinthians 
chapter 9, verses 24 to 27 for discipline. Holiness. We need to be right in right standing with God. Right living in accordance with God's law. And holiness promotes death of sin in the body and brings liberty and guarantees the presence of God. You know, people think that holiness, when you think, you know, be holy, it's like, oh, you know, we are now in a cage, so we cannot look, we cannot do anything. But that's not what it means. Holiness is standing right with the, with the word of God, who is God himself. We need to stand right with him. The Bible says we should come boldly unto the throne of grace, where we will obtain favor and grace. So when we read uh, Hebrews chapter uh, in, uh, 12 verse 14, 12 verse 14, Hebrew 12 14 says, and make straight path for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. Mm, that's not. Mm. Follow peace with all men. I'm looking at here. Yeah, Twelve. Mm. Follow peace with all men mm. and holiness, without which no man shall mm. see the Lord. The Bible says, without holiness, mm. you cannot see the Lord. So it's something the character we should emulate is to be right with God. Where whenever we err, you know the beauty of God is that we can come boldly. And say, Lord, forgive me. Mm. I have sinned again. I have failed again. Uh, mm. It's not the moment of us running away from God because mm. we've done what we shouldn't have done. It's a time for you to go back to the Lord. Otherwise, the devil will mm. use you for purpose. So mm. it's very important for us to be holy as he is holy. If you look at First Corinthians chapter nine, verse uh, uh, chapter nine, verse nine and ten. You know, he's talking about. Be ye holy as I am holy. Our God is holy. He cannot behold sin. So when we come to him, the, 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 our Father must see the blood, must see Jesus Christ when we appear before him. And that means we must make the mm. Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord mm. and Master. In Jesus' name. We are on holiness. So the next one is courage. We need the uh, courage, ability to give up control. You know, that's what it is. Courage is the ability to give up, but or not to give up. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Anyway, it's the ability not to give up. That's what uh, courage is. You control the fear in the midst of adversity, and that's a conqueror's backbone. See that in First Samuel chapter 30. One to eight, you know, to, uh, about um, David. We know how courageous he was when he fought Goliath. So, um, first Samuel chapter 30, verses one to eight, and you have Judges chapter eight, verses four to five. That's you know where you see the ability not to give up. Can we go to Judges chapter eight? Verses 4 and 5. Whoever sees it can read Judges chapter 8. 4 to 5? Yeah. yeah uh, Judges chapter 8, 4 and 5. Yeah. Verses 4 and 5. When Gideon came to the Jordan, okay. he and the 300 men who were with him mm -hmm. crossed over, exhausted but still in pursuit. Mm -hmm. Then he said to the men of Succoos, Please give loaves of bread to the people who follow me, mm -hmm. for they are exhausted, and I am pursuing Zeba. Zalmunna, kings of Midian. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, they were exhausted, but they didn't give up because they were still get going through. So whatever we're going through today, you know, the word of God is that we should not give up no matter what. That's the virtue we should be having, not giving up. So um, wisdom, we need wisdom in um Proverbs chapter 4, we heard, you know, in short, all the Proverbs, they are all about wisdom. Wisdom is a pro, uh, is the principle thing. It's a major part of our lives. No matter what we do, we need that wisdom. We need wisdom to deal with issues of life. We need wisdom to say no when we're supposed to say no. And, and so it's very important. 
It's a very right and skillful application of knowledge. That's what wisdom is. These are all the characters, not all, most of the characters uh, we've dealt with um, in terms of honesty, integrity, servanthood, attitude, love, humility, diligence, discipline, holiness, and courage, wisdom also. So those are the characters we need uh, to be able to succeed in our work with Christ. What must we do to uh, develop those characters? We need to have passion. Passion, you know, when you have passion for what, you know, for the word of God, for the things of God, for pleasing God, that will help to mold your character that we might be like him. So we have to keep wise company. You don't go about, you know, when you are afraid, you go to a fearing uh, friend <laughs> that will make the mountain bigger than it was. So you need wise company. You need those who will bring the word of God to you, the ones that will say, let's pray rather than let's fly, uh, run. Um, so, you know, there are many things you need to do, but passion takes uh, the whole book because if you are passionate about pleasing God, you will do what it takes to please God. If you are passionate to touch lives, you will do what it takes to touch lives. And, and that would take all this holiness, courage, humility, diligence, discipline, and um, honesty and integrity and servanthood. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, is there any question? Oh, we do want to ask questions regarding the quality good. <laughs> Praise God. No, I was going to ask, has anybody ever obtained all of it? That's why, you know, wisdom, wisdom, we always, the Bible says, those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So if we allow the Holy Spirit every moment in our life, uh, you, you'll be amazed. Any day you put Holy Spirit on the driving seat, you won't fall easily. Believe you me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless you, everyone. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.